You're listening to TalkTainmentRadio.com. The views and opinions expressed are those of the host and guest and not necessarily those of TalkTainmentRadio.com, the management, the staff, or K&E World Network, LLC. Hello, hello, everyone. This is Dr. Bass Klausnick, and you're listening to Talk Team Radio on uh, Talk Team Radio, and the show is called Stairway to Heaven. Uh, before I go any further, I'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we will be, you'll be having a lot of stuff coming up next year. I have a lot of stuff planned for next year, and hopefully that uh, you'll you'll be a know you'll know about it. You'll be well informed when it starts. Who's going to be there? So for like a few guests coming, gonna be here next year, and we we all talk about guess what? I'm let I'm just gonna surprise you. Really gonna surprise you. Certain people will be here. Um, like to say, I like to give a shout out to my coworkers at 543 at the OSU clinic over there off of Taylor Avenue, and give them a hearty shout out. Also to uh, Praise Temple Community Church. And also to Dr. Reverend Dixon, and I, just, I knew two more pastors. I give a shout out to him and his wife. Also, I'm asking your prayers for uh, the lead guitar player of the Keys of Harmony, uh, Joseph Jr., Joseph Woods Jr., and uh, that's your prayers from him. So please, just, you know, as I said, the Keys of Harmony still together, and we'll be doing a lot of things together uh, coming out. So. Just be prepared. We got something coming for you out for you next year. Uh, hopefully that when the 2024 come, will be a better year for you. And I say also like to express to say thank you very much for your prayers, your cards that I got from your daughter. Uh, Evangelist Smith has passed on. She's gone home to be with the Lord, and uh, I appreciate for everyone that you that, you know gave the family and I support. Thank you, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. I'd like to start saying that the, the scripture says, for be not like a horse or a mule without understanding, which must be curved with a bit and bridle, or it will not stay stays near you. Many of the sorrows of wicked, but still fast, love surrounds, and one who trusted in the Lord. I like to make a statement saying this. Be like a horse or a mule without understanding. Sometimes we have some things that we have to understand that uh, there's things out there that's going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. We have uh, things that that we that's happening now we don't even know what's going on and we don't understand how it's going. First thing, first of all, most of all, I would like to start off saying that we as a community and we as a country, we have a lot of stuff going on and we don't understand why. We don't understand why they're uh, car thieves, you know, teenagers stealing cars, uh, fights, to understand why people shooting and killing or hurting each other. I don't understand why is that happening. And you know, this is sort of like a little bit of the sorrow of the day. And this sorrow has begun. I can say this the beginning of sorrow has begun. Because we don't this is a time where we don't know where we're going or who we who we where we're going and where we're going to stay or who we are with. There's so many happening that's going on in the world in the day and everywhere. We got wars, we got climate change. You got, I mean, just a whole lot of things that's just going on that don't that you know that don't look right in the sight of God. I call this here. I call this here the uh, the Sodom and Gomorrah. Is what I call it. This country has gone into Sodom and Gomorrah, and it's it's just it's just uh, it's just something else. When you uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was a country, was a land or a country where everybody 
did their own thing. They didn't care, they have no, they have no respect for themselves, nor did they worship the Word of God. They just did everything that they wanted to do. This country, I'm not just gonna say this, 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 this whole world is in a chaos. It doesn't, doesn't seem right that when things in the early years, everybody hid was in the closet. Everybody hid whatever they're doing inside a closet. They stayed, they kept them in a, everybody lived double lives or living two lives. And what makes it so bad about living double lives and, and, and living, uh, living lives that nobody can see, you hide, you hide, you hide, you hide. Well, I had a, I know of, of, of a late sister of mine, she, I call her my sister, told me, said, told, told, said one time, she was talking not only to me, but to more people, the covers are coming off. Regardless what you hide, the covers are coming off of what you're doing. The covers are coming off the, of your double life or whatever life you're trying to hide. You can't live two lives, two lives and expect to respect one and don't give up the other. You have to show yourself who you really are. And we got so many people that's doing this and that in one way, they show you what they, and another way, they do it another behind your back. And you know that's, that's and and it's about it's time to clean up things that you have messed up. It's time to get it together. And if you don't, if you, and if you don't get it together, it's gonna linger on, linger on, linger on, linger on. We all have weaknesses of things that that. that that to come. You have to get away from the, you have to break away from the weaknesses. You have to sit back and think and thought, well, blah, blah, well, I gotta get, let this weakness go because it's not helping me. We got some people out there that's scared, scared to get rid of weaknesses. You got people out there that's scared that don't want to get well, be part of a weakness. You know, but they get involved. And sometimes you have to sit back and learn and understand yourself. Just like the word here in the, uh, Psalms 32, and it says, and it says in verse number six says, as I repeat, I'm gonna repeat it again. Be not like a horse or a mule. In other words, you have to be to guide yourself. You know, the horse has, has a bridle and you have a saddle and everything, just same with the mule. And you have to direct it which way you want to go, or which way you're going. But sometimes, if you, they don't have it, the horses go their own way. They don't have a sense of travel, of travel, as they say, or directions, as we call it. Sometimes you have to direct the horse, and the, the horse and the mule are about the same. You have to direct them both. The horse is a little faster, the mule is a little, the mule is a little slower, and he will get you there. Well, some of us act like horses and some of us act like mules, mules. And some of us have to be told what to do and told what not to do. And some of us, some of us have to be, some have to uh, get to the point where they in control and make you the horse or the mule. In other words, tell you what to do, they won't. Or tell you who they don't, who you, who you can be friends and who you can't be friends with. I can't understand. I can understand, or I can't, or I can't understand, how other people decide to take control of other people. I can't understand sometimes how they, how people do, uh, uh, do things like that. And in times, and in times, there are times when uh, you could be somewhere. Or you can be with a friend, or not a friend, or just with somebody, and you with some, and you hear that person, hey. You see, you make a suggestion. Well, I'm going to do this with my life. This and that. The other, I'm gonna change some things. And the first thing that come or Bill would say, no, I'm not gonna do that. I wouldn't do that if I were you. 
I wouldn't do that. Oh, man, don't do that, you know, blah, blah, blah. At the same time, they're holding you back, keep you from doing what you want to do. They're holding you back, keep you from doing what you're trying to do. You're trying to help yourself out. And they don't want you to help yourself out. So what they tried to do, they put a bridle on you and pull pull a little or a chain and try to pull and try to pull your uh, uh your chain. In other words, you're gonna get somewhere, but they always hold you back. Keep it here. You don't want them to go here. Excuse me. And then when you do when when that happens and you get a loose from it, then you say, wait a minute. I've tried to do this all this time, but then you find out y'all been slowing me down the whole time I didn't catch it. And then you try to build it right back up. You try to go back to your old, some of the old stuff that you need to go to. We need to learn to help ourselves and start letting somebody try to help us. Do what they want you to do. You have to, we have to show them that what we do, we do from our hearts, and we try to help ourselves to get, get stronger. As long as you help yourself to get stronger each and every day, the better you, the better you are. And the longer you be by yourself or with yourself, or in some time when you're by yourself, a lot of things come to you that you don't really, really haven't thought of, but they just pop up, and they come to you. Dang, I didn't know this was happening. I didn't know about that. Well, it happens. And when it gets back then it happened and everything get to thinking, Wow, what did I I didn't know they was doing that. I thought they was my friend. But no, they played your friend. But still they had a bridle on you to keep you from going where you wanna go. There's a statement sometimes say, I'm trying to keep them from getting what they want trying to get. And you got a lot of them out there trying to keep stopping you from getting what you had to get. You got a lot of them out there that don't want you to get what you're trying to get. They want you to stay in that little same war or the little same bag that they're in. And truthfully and willfully, they don't know what they're getting into. They don't know what they're getting. Because once 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 no once they get what they want and don't and, and get what they're trying to get, it doesn't always work. It just backfire on them. And when stuff backfires on them trying to get to you to do what they want, they the one they blame you for they failed us. Or they they blame you because they didn't take the time out and get themselves together. They blaming you for all of this that's happening. And when things like this happen, ain't ain't nothing you can do. But get yourself together and pull away. And start all over again. Well, I guess I, I get I get do some things. And I say, well, you know what? Let's start this all over again and try to work this way. And it works out that way. Because as you work out somewhere, I, you plan to do it, but you check you decide. Well, I'm going to uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to change it to uh, change the way. I, I'm going to try another way. But it always don't work out. Uh, plan B don't always work out. But plan A always do. And then other part, sometimes plan A don't work. Plan B will work. So we have to kind of kind of watch, stop being, uh, uh, having a bit or bridle on us or saddle us and letting others lead you. Because there's a lot of people that could, could lead you and can brainwash you and can tell you things that's not true. You got so many people out there telling, telling saying things that is not true. Got it so twisted and everything that they don't, they sometimes they don't know what they're talking about. You got so many things that twisted, you don't, you don't understand what they're talking about. Because those people, some people, they go to the weak-minded people that's down on their luck. And that's what they do, they go to the weak-minded people that's down on their luck, and once they're down on their luck, they can get you any way they want to, because they watching for the ones that's, that's real down on their luck, there's weakness, and get to their back. I ain't got nowhere to go. And you do. You do. You just have to, get to step out and hold it, reach out and grab for it. 
and it's still waiting for you to wait, it's waiting for you to grab them by the hand so they can help and pull you from all that mess. Because everything that you think is good is not good. And everything that, that you think is real bad is not that bad. Sometimes you think something's good and it ain't. And sometimes the ones that think it's bad, they think it's real bad and we find out that wasn't the way you thought. Because after you blow things, you grow flowers, you grow anything, like the mind's nothing but a garden. What you put in that mind, you put it in there and it's going to grow each and every day. It is going to grow. And once it grows and keep growing, you got it gets too big, it's got whole control of you. You got to stop and wonder. I got to stop and think, no. I don't want it to be that way. That's not me. I don't do stuff like that. And you have to take a second. That's how you break that, break that saddle, break that bridle, and just walk away and guide your own self. Let yourself be lead. Show yourself some respect, and those will show you some respect. Show some love within your heart, and you can show if you show a lot of people that you can love them, they'll show you they love you back. And this is how this is the way it should be. Not like the world of shame or shame in the city or shame in the town or shame in the country. Nah, you don't want to live in that town or that country of shame because the country of shame and shame has a, it has a shame city. And that city is so bad, it's worse. You get in there, it looks good when you start it, but you be one to dag after the, after a while, say about a couple of weeks or a month or so, then things start coming to you, and you wonder, wow, is this how it is? I didn't even know that was like that. I didn't know it was in a way that uh, this would shame me. Well, so like I said, you can get somewhere, and somebody will shame you. You can get shamed. Some people will shame you. They show a whole lot of shame. And when the shame, when that shame comes, you don't know what you did. Sometimes you shame so much that you done made promises to other people and didn't come through. A lot of people make promises to the Lord, but they don't keep them. Some do, some don't. They don't keep them. They go the other way. As I told you before, King is Kong has a way of manipulating people for what they believe in. He has a way of manipulating people to his lies. He has a way of manipulating people to do his deeds. Every time we do our job, or every time we go to work, be there every day. But sometimes, you know, when you got a leader, somebody out there is trying to be the leader of the world, or leader of anything, he's going to destroy what he he's going to destroy it. There'll be a world of chaos. There'll be a world of misunderstanding. There'll be a world of who shot who? And that way, when they do that, that way they'll know that they got you. But it's all. Uh, but it puts, and that makes, and then once they got you, they riding you. They riding on your back. They riding on your shoulders. And they telling everybody while they riding, and goes somewhere. They'll make up some more stuff about you and all your friends and let them know that you that you did what you did. And they don't care about how you did it or what you did. You did it for a reason. My thing is this. Learn to love each and every one of us. Learn to love our friends, our neighbors, and our guests. Treat people with a lot of love and a lot of heart. 
Because once you show them that heart and that love that you have for them, you will always be friendly and lovable. Sometimes in life, the world is so much is it so much a stage and so much a mess, we forget. We really forget. And, and, and another thing is that when we forget who we are and where we are, we don't know how we got there. There's some things that's been said that you don't know how the word the words came from. And when the, when you don't know where the words came from, you are always wondering how did that come? I didn't know I said that, but sometimes the words come from up above that. You know, you got to wonder what the words can I say, or sometimes you just start talking; they just come to you automatic, one by one, by one by one. First Psalm thirty-three says, "Shout for joy in the Lord, in the Lord." Oh, you righteousness praise benefits the upright. You had there are people that you know people are shout for joy just about every day. How you doing? I'm fine. How was it? Oh, it was beautiful. That's for those that were happy. Oh, I had a beautiful day. I had a beautiful time. I had beautiful everything. But you got to think about yourself. How do you feel? And how you learn to do things? What did you learn to do this and that and the other? You know, it's glad to see them because what they have in joy from I can rub off off of them onto you. And it can be a good feeling. And those people that are cheerful and happy, and God loves and loves the Lord so much, and they tell you, hey, I, I I got a my co -work, co I got some new coworkers, and just think they work like family around each other. And they help each other out. And I got one lady that tell me all the time, she said, if it wasn't for the Lord, I wouldn't be here. Well, we all wouldn't be here if it wasn't here. We wouldn't be here. He, he the one that woke us up. It's a thousand people today that did not wake up today. There's a thousand there's people today are on their way to their graves today. And the thousand people today are closing their eyes for the last time. <coughs> Excuse me. And those, and it's it's hard for those that you see that close. The, and when they close their eyes, they have no pain, no nothing. They're not a their 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 pains are gone. Their their uh, worries are gone. Let me say this. If you could talk to them and you ask them, would you like to, would you want to come back? First thing they would tell you, no. I wouldn't come back here for nothing. I like it where I'm at. It's so peaceful, so quiet. Everybody loving each other. Everybody enjoying each other. Everybody's so friendly. I have no pain. I have no worry. I don't have nothing to worry about. All I have is peace and joy within my soul. So no, I'm not gonna come back here. Why should I come back down here? All oh, this is a bunch of chaos. Why should I come back down here? I'll be going to the same thing, worried about bills, how this and that and the other. But where I'm at, there's no, I don't have to worry about it because everything is, hello, how you doing? I don't even have to go to the doctor because the pain and the element that I have, they're gone. So why should I come back here? To watch you suffer? Or watch you do things that you shouldn't be doing? Or hearing bad news just about every day? No. I hear I hear good news every day where I'm at. 
I hear good news about people uh, fly walking around heaven. My mansion is there. And I'm getting built a mansion every day. Every day a mansion is built for someone. This is why I say that, uh, this is what I'm saying. A Benjamin Smith, she's in her and Terry and, and Doris. Those three ladies, they enjoy themselves. They're in heaven. They're enjoying themselves. They're talking to each other. As a matter of fact, they probably got their own radio show up there and, and teaching the word to those who are listening. They're probably sending the word down to those, down here to those who are of their own choosing to say what they need to say. All of them, three of them, were God-fearing ladies. And all three ladies were was in their Bible. They weren't like the, they weren't like the mule or the horse. You had to guide them where to go and show them and pull them and turn around. Go here, go left or right. They know which way to go. They know how to go. They know where to get how to get to people. They know how to try to save souls. They know how to stop people to talk to people when they were down and out. They knew how to help people when they uh, couldn't. Uh, when people felt them, when their so-called friends left them to suffer, they, they had their arms out waiting for them and gave them love and showed them, hey, you don't have to go through this. You got love here. And, it did, and those street ladies were so, so enjoyable. They would give the, they'd give the shirt off their back to those who really need it. I've seen Vincent Smith had had necklaces and earrings and people, they would like, they like the earrings and the necklaces that she had. She would take them off and give it to them. Say, here, you like it? Yeah, she would take it off, say, here, you can have it. And she would give it to them. That's how Heart, that's, how, that's the type of heart that we need to have. We need to have the type of heart that to show people love. And that's what they did. They showed love. They showed a whole lot of love. They showed the love of, 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 of kindness. They showed the love of how people, how Christian ladies, I, I would call them ladies, I, they Christians, but I would call them more than that. I call them angels. They was angels, they were angels down here on earth. And they was angels giving out the word. They didn't, keep, they didn't mind giving out the word, but they gave it out. And didn't care, didn't bother who it, who it hurts. But sometimes you have to say something to make people bring tears to people's eyes. And that's what they did. And that's how they did it. Sometimes it was time, you know, the joy, they, there's so much joy, so much joy that they have. You can see, I even seen them have joy at a gospel concert. And they have, I mean, they, it'd be so, it'd be so, you ought to see how they would stand up and clap their hands and be a joyful, have a joyful, a joyful music. And you, be, you should see how joyful they are when they have things. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this, this is it. This is Dr. Bass Claus Smith signing off from YouTube Radio, YouTube TV, <laughs> sorry. And remember this, mine's nothing with the guard. Don't, what you put it, don't let it grow. And I'll see you next year. <laughs>